Hello friends, in this lesson we're gonna let you know about the EC2 troubleshooting steps, EC2 compute cloud, SSH login issues. I'm gonna copy the public IP, try to SSH. Then if I'm not able to log in on the instance, so as we can see, it's a connection refuse. It means it may be port 22 is not able to listening. If you are unable to log in with port 22, then you can check if the port 22 is listening from the outside the world from your uh, from your host then you can use the nc and jadbn the host name 22 it shows the connection refuse it means port is not listening from outside then we need to go with the security group so i am using this in uh, security groups so as we see in that we are uh, not authenticating the inbound role to come the uh, to listening from the outside world so simply put it this and save so now it authenticate to listening from all of the IPs into the instance which are used this security groups so over instance is using the security groups let's check the port 22 through and see that it uh, it shows that the port is in, in listening state so let's SSH on the host again now we can able to log in the, into the instance and we can make a sudo and df-h it shows the output so, if you still you op, uh, still if after opening the port to the security groups if still you are not able to log in then it may be an SSH key so log out so here is the SSH key techhertz dot keypair hyphen dot pam if you are trying to log in through the Linux system then use the dot pam key or if you are trying to log in through the windows through the port key, then you should use the dot ppk key you should convert the dot pam to dot ppk if you want to log in through the windows the other thing you need to focus on that is the security groups it's inside the vpc inside the inside the vpc in the NAS security in the network acl you should focus that the highest rule sh in the highest rule the port 22 should be allowed by default the, all the traffic is allowed in inbound rule okay this is the scenario connecting connectivity issues to an ec2 instance Ports on the correct security groups are not open. Remember, all the ports are closed by default. So only the default security groups has ports open to all the instance in the same security groups. So we need to open it as we have done. The second issues cannot attach an EBS volume to an EC2 instance. So EBS volume must be live in the same availability zones as the EC2 instance. They are to be attached. So EBS is the zone dependent. So in which instance we want to add the EC EBS volume can be in the same ability zones in which our EC2 instance as we seen our instance is in ability zone A so that our EBS volume should be in ability zone A let's create a scenario I'm gonna launch an EBS volume in ability zone B then what will happen then select the newly created EBS volume and then attach volume then it's not showing any instance that are running in ability zone B because our instance is running on zone A. So we need to create another volume with 2 GB volume size in ability zone A. Now if I am going to attach it then it shows a running instance then attach it to the instance. Okay. Now it the status is in use. If I want to attach an EBS volume which is running in zone B then we need to create a snapshot and then create a new volume in zone A from through the snapshot and then attach it then we can uh, able to attach the newly volume that we have created through the snapshot in ability zone A with the instance that are running in ability zone A another issue is cannot launch additional instances it means it may be easy to capacity limit is reached to their limit it may be reached EC2 capacity limit and need to contact AWS limit. So we can check from here, go to the limits. We have a limit of 20. We have a limit to concurrently running 20 EC2 instances. If I want to increase it, then we can need a request to the AWS support team. The another issue is unable to download updated packages, package updates. So if our instance is not public, our instance is private in a private ability zone you know, or in a private subnet, then we are not able to download the package. 
so we should attach a network gateway net get uh, net to the instance or attach an internet gateway to the instance to make the package as downloadable so if our instance is private we should need uh, we should use net to attach it it provide the facility to download the packages or to update the packages if our instance is public then we need to attach internet gateway with the instance application seems to slow down to ec2 micro instances so in t2.micro we get one core cpu one gb ram so it not for the uh, production part we can use it for the testing or development part if our ins instance is slow our cpu deletion is slow then we need to migrate it to the upper one to the higher configuration elastic ip address detached from an instance when the instance is stopped so if your account is before december 2013 then you may be face this problem if your account is after december 2013 then you never face this issue because in uh, you will uh, elastic ip is attached with a private ip or when we stop our instance then private ip is never be changed and our elastic ip will be same as before am i unavailable in other, another region so ec2 classic sorry am i unavailable in another regions am i are only available in the region so you can see that am i is a region dependent so am i is only available in the region that we have created inside that so if you want to copy it in another region then the am i id will be changed So capacity error when attempting to launch an instance in a placement group. If we are facing the any issues like over instances are uh, not giving a two by two checks, two by two uh, checks. Here is the checks. If we see under the instances, here are the checks. If our checks are not two by two, then we need to start. We need to stop the instance and start it it again. if we have two types of uh, it's a one is a shared one and another one is see at the time of instance creation if we choose the shared one then the problem can be resolved by stop and start the instance if we if we have used dedicated then our problem is not resolved because in dedicated our instance is running on a single same hardware if it is shared then when we stop and start the our instance again then it can be running in another hypervisor another physical machines that is not having any problems so that's are the steps to troubleshoot the ec elastic compute cloud so thanks for today class okay thanks for your time and consideration so please like share subscribe my channel to get more updated videos thank you